Hello everyone, my name is Teacher Husna. In this video, I'm going to share about subtopic 5.2 which is enzymes. At the end of this video, a student should be able to number 1. Define enzymes number 2. Reason out the necessity or importance of enzyme in metabolism number 3. Describe the naming of enzyme with the addition of ASE to the substrate and number 4. Characterize the general properties of enzymes Before we discuss further about enzyme, let us see about biochemical reaction in the previous lesson, we have learned about anabolism and catabolism. Anabolism and catabolism both are biochemical reaction, and biochemical reaction can occur quickly in the cell because of the presence of enzyme, because the enzyme help to speed up the reaction. What is an enzyme? An enzyme is an organic catalyst that is mostly made up of protein and is produced by living cell organism. Catalyst is a substance that speed up the chemical reaction without itself undergoing any chemical change at the end of reaction. In other words, a catalyst helps to speed up the reaction but at the end it will not be destroyed. The substance needed for enzyme reaction are called substrate. In figure 5.1, we can see that the substrate binds to the active site of the enzyme to form enzyme substrate complex. Ok student, this is the other example of formation of enzyme substrate complex. As you can see, the enzyme will bind to the substrate at the active site and form enzyme substrate complex and at last, products will be formed. Now, we go to the enzyme nomenclature or the naming of enzymes. The name of enzyme is derived by adding ASE to the name of the substrate it catalyzes. In the example given here, the lactose is the substrate, so the name of enzyme will be lactase. However, there are some enzymes which cannot be named this way because the name of this enzyme have been used for a long time before the systematic naming system was introduced. Some examples are trypsin, pepsin and renin. These are the examples of the name of substrate and enzymes. Ok student, now let us see the general characteristic of enzyme. Number 1, enzymes act rapidly, means the enzyme enable the biochemical reaction to take place quickly in the cells. Number 2, enzymes are biological catalysts that speed up the biochemical reaction. Number 3, some enzymes need cofactor to work more efficiently. What is cofactor? Cofactor can be considered as a helper molecule that assists enzymes in their reaction. An example of a cofactor is vitamin B and magnesium ion. Number 4. Enzyme activity can be slowed down or stopped by enzyme inhibitor. What is inhibitor? Inhibitor is a molecule that binds to the enzyme and decrease or stop its activity. Heavy metals such as lead or mercury are the examples of inhibitors. Number 5. Most of the reactions catalyzed by the enzyme are reversible. This means the enzyme can affect the reaction in both directions. Number 6. The reaction of enzyme are very specific. This is because the enzyme has a specific site called active site that can only bind or fit with one kind of substrate. Number 7. The structure of enzyme remain unchanged and are not destroyed after a reaction. Number 8. Enzymes are only required in small quantities and are reusable. Okay guys, that's all for now. See you again in the next video.